Good evening, I'm Margaret Pomerantz, and I'm the one who's been pinching bits of your garden hose. Since 1971, a current affair has provided peerless journalism, ruthlessly holding to account doll bludgers, shonky tradies, and that dweeb in the glasses who threw a party. Best party ever so far, that's what everyone's been saying. Now, 50 years later, the legacy continues as a fresh breed of news right. hounds leave no stone unturned and no ambulance unchased in the pursuit of justice. Featuring an all-star team of dogged reporters, ACA delves where others dare not tread, delivering stories vital to the public interest. It's the Rolls-Royce of toilets that's caused a big stink. The young mum body shamed by Santa's helper. The Buddhist monk allegedly shopping at Sexyland. What were you buying there? No, no, I have no idea. You're a monk, sir. Should you be doing this? Humiliating, especially when the smut shack is so much cheaper. But as well as keeping the world safe from the dog Buddhist monks, ACA has tangible political impact. In 93, a Mike Willisey interview with John Hewson all but decided the federal election. If I buy a birthday cake from a cake shop and GST is in place, do I pay more or less? Well, it will depend whether cakes today in that shop are subject to sales tax or they're not. Now that same influence lives on as ACA goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with political heavyweights like this guy. He's more commonly known now as Barking Dog Man. <laughs> Terrifying. And if you're single, call me. Meanwhile, one can't overlook the outstanding performance of the hosts as they convincingly pretend what's happening isn't batshit insane. He's a trained opera tenor who sings for his citrus. She's a mother of four whose addiction to minty has cost her $700 a month. She's had call after call from Chewbacca. <laughs> Can you please stop calling? Best start that Walkley Awards speech now. One might argue that on occasion, ACA deliberately pokes at the carcass of misfortune in search of the salacious. What are you doing at the hose? Right. So the you're being a big bully to me now as well. Do you think urinating on top of people is the way to go? Is it piddler on the roof? But there's no denying the show's role as the voice of a nation, selflessly cleaning Australia's streets, one serial pervert con man at a time. You're a serial pervert con man. Serial pervert con man, aren't you? Uh, That's you. who you are. Go on. Well, I'm a serial pervert con man. I'll be a serial pervert con man. Little dog. Good one. Just exquisite.